Hey folks, let's take a look at how to make a collaborative music video in which two people have sung to the same backing track at different locations, different times, and then we're going to edit them together to make a final video. And in this case, I'm going to use Adobe Premiere Pro, okay, which is what I use to edit things, but I'm also going to do versions in other software packages so that people who want to make videos for their London City Voices open mic nights, okay, can whatever they've got can have a go at doing this and honestly it's not as hard as you might think okay so in a previous video i gave a few tips for recording the clips okay so first thing i'm going to do is i've got premiere pro open here uh, premiere pro is available as a free trial which is fully functional for seven days so if you want to get get it and just make this one video you can do that but we need to obviously start by start with a new project a new premiere project so i'm going to go to the file menu new project and i've already got a folder here it is where i'm going to go that's the uh there we go and summer nights demo so i'm going to save it in that folder which is where i've also got these clips okay and i'm just going to give it a title i'm going to call it summer nights demo okay so I'll just, I could leave all these at the default settings and hit OK. All right, so this is Premiere. Um, I'm going to switch across the top here. Just go to the default layout, which is the editing window up at the top. Just click up here. And just so we've all got the same window, I'm just going to reset mine in window workspaces to reset to save layout. So if you open in Premiere for the first time, this is what you will probably see this layout okay so i've got three clips one clip of me singing uh, one clip of gary singing and one video audio clip sorry uh with the backing track so here we go so i'm going to go to file and import okay and i've got some uh there we go some a nice demo so i've got these three clips here i can select them i can select them by just dragging my mouse over these three clips. There's me, there's Gary, and there's Summer Nights. Okay, so I'm gonna import those. All right. So um, I can just, so this is the, the best quality. And if I look on here, if I just click here, um, I can see the video kind of size. Oh, I can just um, right click here. If I want to see what what because when you phone when you record things on phones, often the phones record them at different sizes, different models of phones, etc. I can right click and choose properties. I can see that my phone is 1920 by 1080, and this one, if I go properties, okay, this one's smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna scale this up a bit. I'm gonna go with a bigger saying, and so if I drop my clip in first, the sequence will be at that setting. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I've already got some markers on here. Let me just clear those. Okay. So you can see what I did. All right. So here we go. So excuse the terrible singing, but here we are. Summer loving. So I'm going to find an obvious place. Summer. The chorus is great place. The chorus is great place. And a little thing to help you find the spot when you're trying to adjust it is if I press the M key, Okay, that just adds a marker to that clip. Okay, so I need to select the clip or else it adds a marker above the clip on the timeline. If I move the clip, that's no use. So if I select the clip and press M, okay, there's my chorus. And now is Gary and there you go. That's, that's her starting the chorus. So I'm going to put M on that too. And you see the video is a little smaller because it's a different size. I can just right click on that quick fix and choose scale to frame size and boom okay we've got two videos now the same size so little fast tip okay now i've got the backing track so we've got these two clips and i've got the backing track here so i'll start with my clip and something i like to do just so i can see them a bit better is click on this little spanner expand all tracks okay uh, just makes sure you can able to see the timeline a little better 
So that's what I've done. I've just got two clips of the different sizes. I've resized them. Quick fix is to right click on a clip, scale to frame size. Okay, so we've got them both the same size. And I've just found an obvious point. So I'm just going to move these. I can select them both. I'm just going to move them out of the way a little bit. And what I want to do is find. So it's just here. That's where the chorus is. Okay, so I just need to find where the chorus comes in. Okay, so I'll start with, with my clip. I'll drag this in. I've got my little marker here, so that should help. Uh, I may need to trim the start. So I can just grab the end here and trim that back a bit. And, okay, and I'm going to kind of drag this along and and then try and line this up one thing i could do to make it easier to drag it about is just a little little magnet here which snaps things if i undo that i can move things a little a little easier okay so there's my markers pretty much lined up might not be perfect to start with but it's always a good starting point let's try it so i'm a bit late there okay so i just need to adjust this get it in the right spot so a bit of tweaking Okay, so that seems all right. Summer days. Okay, I'll go with that. Okay, and now I need to do the same thing. Uh, for, I'm going to drop this down a track. I'm going to take, carry, and what I could do to mix these together, is just drag them up and down. So they're all on different layers. Now I can drag this over. Again, I'll trim it at the start a bit. Okay, and I'll zoom in. If I press the plus keys, I can zoom in and out, plus and minus. So let's try lining that up with mine. See how that goes. Tiny bit, tiny bit early. All right. That's close enough for jazz. Okay, so I just kind of extend these clips so they, they go to the start. Okay, so it's all about just getting, finding a point and lining it up. Okay, and I can just trim the ends of these clips so they kind of match. Okay, and now what we should have is, it should be in time. So if I just hit play on this. So we're just seeing Gary at the moment. So that's working. Now what we need to do is just do a split screen effect and maybe add a little treatment to the vocals. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go into my effects folder. Okay. Effects folder. And I can search for an effect. Okay. I'm going to choose one called um, crop. Not trim. Crop. There we go. Crop. And drop this. I'll drop it first onto Gary there. Okay, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to use, here it is. So what I need to do is just go to this window here, effect controls at the top. Okay, and select the clip. Okay, so what I'm going to do is oh, oh, over here, all the settings to control the position of the clip, the scale of the clip, and any effects so as the crop. So I'm going to start by just, um, now here's a little, little thing we did. Um, when Gary's singing, she's looking that way, and I'm kind of on this side. So what I'm going to do is also put a little effect on this. Horizontal flip. Okay, so now she looks this way. Okay, so if you 
mistakenly get on the wrong side when you're filming, you can flip it. Okay, so now I'm going to just um, change the position, move Gary over to this side a little more, and then just use the crop. Okay, and I can crop that in like so on the uh, right, right side. There we go. All right, and I'm going to take my clip and I'm going to move it over a little more to the left. And now, I'm going to move Gary over a tiny bit more to this side. Oop, that's me. This one. Okay. Oop. And then crop it a little less. So we're kind of half and half. All things being equal. I met a girl crazy for me. Okay, so we're ninety percent there. Obviously, these are just the vocal tracks are just recorded on a phone without any kind of fancy microphones or effects. But what I can do is let me just go over. I'm going to go. We've got me on track one, Gary on track two. I'm going to go over to the audio window here, and here here we've got something called the track mixer. Okay, so if I want the tracks to be louder, I can make. So if I, for example, do that. Cute as can be Summer days Drifting away or the sun. I can mix the tracks So I can get a nice balance Between the So audio 3 is the backing track nice. So I'll probably leave that alone And then just adjust Just adjust our voices So they're kind of the right level Over the track Okay and what I may also do up here is a bit of pan. Okay, I'm on the left of the screen. I'm going to pan myself a little bit left. Just a little bit. Gary, a little bit right. Okay, just to add a bit of spread between the voices. So I come a little bit more out of the left speaker. And she comes a little bit more out of the right speaker. All right. So, and then I'm just going to open up this little drop down menu. Okay, and I'm going to add to this... A little bit of uh, reverb here. I'm going to go for some studio reverb. Okay, and if I just double click on the name, I can pick. I'm just going to go with a very standard like default. I'm going to put some vocal reverb medium. Okay. And this will add a nice bit of echo. So I'll do it on the same on both voices. Okay, you can play about with this much more to find a really good setting. But this is just... A lot of the time, just use some of the defaults, and that's fine. So now we've got, you know, especially here nicely on Gary's voice, some nice reverb there. Might make her a little louder. Okay, so we've got some reverb on the voices. We've got them balanced, and then I'm just going to um, trim this track. I'm just going to cut this at the end. So if I want to trim it, of course, you're going to do a full track probably, so you won't need to trim it, but this is just just for this case, just for demos. And I can use, I can use this little tool here, the razor tool, and then cut that. And then just go back to my normal tool there and, and delete that. And what I'm going to do is, let me zoom in, I'm just going to use... This tool here, I'm going to jump back to the editing window now. Okay. And I'm going to use the pen tool. And I'm going to just use that. This, this little tool here lets me just add these little points. Can you see these little points here? And I can drag them down at the end. And that will create a fade out. Okay. And I can do the same on the video. And they'll fade to black. Like so. And the, so at the end of the clip... All right, that fades out, and mine fades out too. Okay, and actually, there's a better way to do this: is simply get a nicer fade. If I go over to my effects folder, video transitions, dissolve, I'm going to put what's called a dip to black on the end of both of these. Just drag them over. Nicer. Okay, that little fade out at the end. So if you go into the video effects, video transitions, find the dissolve folder, dip to black. Okay, nice fade out. I can even make that a little longer. 
if I just drag the end out here like that, and get a get a slower fade. So we both we both fade we both fade to black at the end. Okay, so that's a very quick demo of how you can cut together tracks. Um, obviously, quite a lot to take in if you've never used an editing program for the first time. But there's lots of tutorial videos to get you started on editing programs. But the thing is, it, it may look a little bit complicated, but it's really not once you've got used to how it all works, how you can move things about on the timeline, how you can drop in clips, and how you can mix them together. Okay, so there we go. All I need to do now is go File, Export, Media. So File, Export, Media. And I tend to go with the YouTube preset because it's very good. So in my presets, I can go YouTube, 1080 full HD, because give us HD quality. I'll give it a name, which is output name. Okay, I'll call it Summer Nights. I'll do that. And I'm gonna save it in my Summer Nights folder. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna click on export. And that's going to create your finished file that then you can then upload to YouTube and Facebook and whatever and share and use for uh, online virtual open mic night. OK, so that's how I put this together in Premiere. OK, and uh, I'm going to do other versions for things like iMovie, Final Cut Pro and um, Resolve and, and all the different editing suites. And of course, um, it's a lot to take in, but if you get stuck with anything when you're creating these videos, just give me a shout and uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, we'll work it out together. All right, folks, I'll just leave that encoding. Uh, it's going to take a few seconds. When it's all done, it'll be in your folder as a finished video, uh, which you can then watch and enjoy. So thanks, buddies. Take care.